read something to you. This is your own PI magazine right here that I picked up when I was in Nashville. And a gentleman and I, um, and I'm sorry, I don't know your name right here. Oh, Ed Wilson. Ed, Ed and I were having a conversation, and he totally believes it the way I do. Right here for the PI magazine, it says, Taser study finds serious injuries rare. Every now and then, we're going to start hearing about how a taser killed somebody. Well, you know, uh, a DeKalb County policeman came up to my table in Dawsonville last weekend at the gun show. And he said, you know, there was supposedly one death related a year ago to the taser. Never was proven one way or the other. So all of a sudden, the county pulled all the tasers away from the policeman. Now, can somebody tell me what they have left to, to do then? Guns. The flashlight and their guns. Guns. You got in a billy club. But that was multiple tasers. I'm not sure what it was. But, but listen to this statistic, how dumb our society can be. They took the taser away from the policeman. So then the next year, there was 11 shootings. <laughs> Out of those 11 shootings that the cops had to fire upon people, that they could have used tasers, there were 7 out of 11 deaths. And I'm going to totally agree, not all 7 of them needed to die. That the taser may have just put them down, apprehend them, and let's take care of the problem. So, that being said, I have a, come by the table out there, and you can read this article. It's very interesting in the PI magazine. Now, I know what everybody's starting to think. How can I carry these? Listen real close. Taser devices, and that includes the stun guns, are not considered firearms by the United States government. Does anybody know why? No powder. No powder. No, powder. no gunpowder. They can be legally carried concealed or opened without a permit required in 40 plus states. So basically, I've gone into the Braves game with that in my pocket, and no one can stop me. You can go in. The only two places you really can't go is in a federal building. I highly recommend not going into the police headquarters where you're going to have to be searched and everything. But about a courthouse? Um, not really. You, you don't need to be carrying anything in a federal courthouse or anything like that. But you can you can take this downtown. You can I, I walk in here with it loaded. There's literally you can because it's not considered a firearm. You can carry it open or. To answer your question, and I'm going to show you why this is the best. And come on up here. We'll some demonstration. Yeah. Tell about the other place that you can't carry it, Dave. Huh? The other place that you can't carry the taser. Or in a in a on an airplane. Now, come on up. But you can check it in your bag. Lisa. Okay, Lisa. We're gonna have some fun. Okay. Are you saying you can or cannot carry it on an airplane? Cannot, you're not gonna get it. You cannot carry it on an airplane, but I've checked that taser in. It's been to Denver and Tampa. So you check it in on your luggage. As long as you're not going to DC, Hawaii, Massachusetts, Maryland, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, and Wisconsin. And now the rules have changed in Illinois. Uh, you can have it all in Illinois, but Cook County, Chicago. I know, and all the places you can live in your life. Now, I want to do one other thing before we get into our demonstration of a taser. Are you ready to receive two barbs? Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Taser Corporation has the best guarantee. This is $350. This is an alternative to not carrying a gun for you. <coughs> if you ever, Lisa, right? Let's say Lisa was attacked in a parking lot leaving here tonight and she tasered someone. You register this with Taser Corporation, not the United States government. So therefore, the serial number is going to belong to Lisa. Like this one belongs to me. Now, do you know what's really cool about this? Why I went with Taser? Because this serial number belongs to me. Lisa seems like a nice lady, but what if she went out and robbed a store tonight? Who would be arrested? Me. They are keeping a tight lid on this. Because if you're really got to be an idiot to loan this out to even your mother, because this is not, you know, the, the way they're going to keep a lid on this, like guns can be sold under the table, we all know that, called the black market. And everybody wants a gun that's not registered. But a taser, you will not have the problems with it, and you will use it in self-defense. 
And I respect that, the way they're handling it. So, let's just say Lisa walks out into the parking lot tonight and she has to use this. Police would come in. Lisa would send a copy of the police report, document the incident, and Taser will replace your unit free of charge. Otherwise, your life is worth more to us than the cost of the Taser. So, otherwise, not only the police will give back the Taser that Lisa had to use, but she's going to get another one free just for the hassle. Uh, that is a guarantee that I've never seen. Because you yeah. shoot it and run, right? Yeah. This right here, okay, Lisa, now we're going to have some fun. And you're not going to get stunned or <laughs> feel how Feel how light that is. Is that something you put in your pocket or your pocketbook? Maybe. Pretty light, huh? Yeah. Okay, now let me show you what will stop 95% of all attacks. Give me a thumb. Pull that handle back. Point it right at me. Now you have my attention. I don't like y'all, but... <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'